Hi everyone, this is Alex. In today's video, I'm not going to talk about some specific stuff. I'm just going to talk about breaking news, what is going on right now in the market and uh, what is actually happening in a couple of days. And in the end of the video, I'm going to also give it to you one of the live hack what's happened to me and it was so funny and uh, scary at the same time. You can feel it like all cars working. America, move. So many trucks and everybody delivering something. And maybe they're delivering something to you. Right, so two days ago, it was a strike of the truckers, own operators in Houston. 75 trucks, they uh, just just block your road and nobody gonna come through because they not agree with the payments of the loads and uh, they not agree what the broker is doing. It was my previous video over there where I, where I explained like what is the market doing during the pandemic and uh, I'm not a magician but was obviously it's gonna happen. It's just the first signal and I think it's it maybe if it's gonna continue like that in the next couple of weeks gonna just be worst situation. So what is really happen? The thing is, uh, like I said before in a previous video, that the amount of loss is smaller right now, and that's why broker I reducing the price, and the people who wanna drive uh, loads much more than the loads right now. That's why situation going down like usual. Uh, but obviously, like truck drivers have so much responsibilities, like really, really too much. And the president of United States, our president, Donald Trump, he said that truckers are heroes right now. I personally don't count myself like a hero. I'm just doing my regular job. Yes, I deliver food, I deliver some medical stuff, I deliver water and stuff like that. So, but I'm not think I'm a hero. I see heroes right now who work in the hospital. They're really heroes. But I think the people who is doing that extremely high volume of job right now and put risk himself has to get paid not higher just stay the same I spoke I, I have like contacts about like 30 maybe 40 truck drivers like friends and uh, other friends so and we spoke to each other we don't want to get higher payments on this time no we just want to stay the same because obviously I'm an old operator and right now I'm like thinking okay maybe it's better for me to be just a driver for the companies and you can earn much more because you stuck you're not driving the amount of the loads is small and the price for the loads is also small and it means you earn not much and uh, for some like uh, own operators who work and not really with really good companies they are uh, really really have a bad situation because they don't have a lot at all and they have to pay insurance they have to pay repairs for the truck and stuff like that there is a post over there you you see a link you can read it how people are doing over there and i hope it's gonna change i'm lucky because my i have i work for a good company and my dispatch is he's also a hero for me because he always found something which is impossible to find and that's why I basically for last month I earned yeah much less than usual but it's still a decent amount so like I said like uh, trackers have so much responsibilities and I would like talk to to someone who's responsible for the brokers says guys like I do in a horrible job right now I spoke with the many dispatch and they said that talk to dispatch like to the like to the trash they like they earn more than everybody right now which is not right 
and I think guys if you can you like just share my video and maybe it's change something somebody's supposed to be responsible for that because truck drivers doing the job and brokers are doing a horrible job right now not all of them for sure not all of them but many of them just doing like inc incredibly bad and they earn money more than everybody in this situation which is not right Uh, today happened a crazy situation, believe me or not, but my truck and truck behind my truck, we both in the same time lock a key inside. That was just crazy. Just not one truck, like two trucks together lock a key. It was like, I couldn't believe that it happened. It actually never happened to me. And for that guy, it was happened third time and he gave me some tips. So first of all, if you have truck, it is the same mark. You can try uh, use the key from other trucks. So we go around and other keys or from in other trucks, and uh, they help us. So what happened is uh, a key from another truck just was matched with mine, and we opened the door. That was just crazy to me. I didn't know that. And it's for you, I, I think it's gonna be one piece to just this guy behind me told me that it's first. And the second thing in the truck stop, you can buy stuff which is help you unlock your door it costs like 30 dollars not much but you can do it by yourself or you can call to the service and it's called, gonna cost you about 130 dollars so at the beginning of the morning it was horrible situation but then miracle came and we opened the door it took us like 15 20 minutes i go around the truck stop nobody say no everybody tried to help you so all trackers were like really friendly Absolutely nobody say no. Everybody say yeah, yeah. What, what help you need? So if you have same problems that somehow, so you already know what to do. Good luck. It's how we spend our rest time. Come on, Nelly. Right guys, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I'm gonna explain you what is it better to be uh, an operator or work for the company like a driver, how much you get paid and what is the difference. If you like this video, just please the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the road, good luck.